everyone. Welcome back. It's so good to be back. Happy New Year. We're into 2022. I wanted to stop in and give you a new video because it's been a while since I've been on here. I've been working really hard. And if you remember, the last video that I was putting out was when I did my last buy at Catherine's house. So this is officially finished. Catherine's house is now empty. There is nothing left in the house. Uh, November was my last um, visit to get the rest of her vintage clothing. But boy, was that last visit like probably one of my favorite buys that I went and did. And as you saw previously in my videos, I had boxes of a new old stock clothing that she never wore and still with tags on them. And I have been going through those. I went through, I think, three boxes. I did some videos on three boxes of her clothing. I also just jumped right in and started going through the big boxes and the bags that I took out of her attic of her vintage clothing. This haul really was her older pieces. I have the things from the 30s, the 40s, and the 50s in this really last, this last haul that I did from her attic space in her house. It was like the best for last, I guess you can say. So today we're going to look at some of her 50s dresses. Um, these are pretty much all cotton house dresses or day dresses that I found in the attic in the big cardboard boxes. These are dresses that for the most part she has worn and wore in the 1950s. Some are late 1940s. So we're going to talk and look at these today. Now, I found all these up in her attic in a box. This one's my favorite. This is one of my favorites here. This is probably a, a 40s. We're looking at an, a late 40s dress. Cotton dress. Love the waistline on it. It's got a button front and a metal side zip. Very cute. This one needed a, a lot of work. Needed to um, have some sewing done to it to put the zipper back in. But she turned out great. Just a cute little day dress of Catherine's. She was She's very petite and was very, very petite in the 1950s. I love this two-tone dress and the beautiful little butterfly embroidery that's up on the top shoulder. Perfect condition. Now this one I did not find in the attic. I found part of it in the attic and one of the things that I've been noticing as I'm going through Catherine's things and the different buys that I have done, I have to be really careful because sometimes part of a set is somewhere else. So the jacket was actually found in the attic portion of the house in a big box and the dress was found elsewhere. So the dress was from one of my earlier buys that I did from the house and the jacket that is matching to it was found in the attic. So I put them together and it's adorable set. I'm really, really happy that I was able to join everything and put things back together. I've had that happen quite a few times now with pieces that I'm like, oh, this looks really familiar. Yep, that's because the set was already somewhere else. So how did things get mixed up like that? I'm really not sure, but I'm really happy that I was pretty much able to buy, I think, everything from her um, wardrobe, so I'm able to put things back together. Just a cute little house dress. It has the zipper in the front. It has some ruching at the side waist here. Just adorable. Just a little house dress, a little day dress. I love the cinched waist on this one. Very unusual. I haven't seen a lot of cinch waist on the little day dresses, but that one has it. And it's a really nice, um, larger medium size. Perhaps that was what, what she wore when she was pregnant. I'm not sure. Maybe it's maternity dress. Another cute little day dress with the back zip on it. These are unusual. You don't often see half zips like this but they are out there and they are very difficult, in my opinion, to get on and off. But there you go. Adorable little polka dot. And I love the neckline right there on this. And this one is unusual because it's got like a side button on it. So this is just a pullover that you just pull over and then you button up. So I'm gonna unbutton it. 
And this is supposed to allow you enough ease to get the um, dress on and off. And then when it's on, then you button it and it gives you a more fitted waistline. So very unusual. I've never seen that in a dress before, but very cute. Here is just a little floral. I think this is something that I found elsewhere. Also, if you've watched my other videos, you might've seen this one come up, but I pulled it out of my rack upstairs where I've been storing it because I wanted to put it in with all the other cotton dresses. That one's a really nice condition also and has the beautiful rhinestones around the neckline. This one came out of the attic space nice novelty dress great little squared off neckline collar on that and the print on it is really interesting so you can see the print beautiful interesting abstract print on it it does have some staining condition issues i might try to do some more soaking to get them out they're very hard to see but this one was up in the attic so you're gonna probably come up with some condition issues when you're just stored in an open box in an attic. I don't know if there was maybe a leak at one time. This is probably early 50s. It has this side metal zip on that. One of my favorites coming up here. Beautiful little fun novelty print dress. And this one has, there's the original belt to it, but the neckline on it is adorable. Side metal zip. And it's like a little girl print and she's got a hat on and her little dress and her little shoes. And then there's other little hats going on in the print. And it's almost like a tiered skirt on it and a side metal zip. It's adorable. Also, she did have a few of the novelty prints that were popular in the fifties. A nice little Basic dress, but I love a basic dress like this in the smocking that is around the waist and it's still good and it still has the elastic to it. And it's just got the cute little eyelet detail on the front. Just a nice, easy to wear dress. I love easy wearing cotton dresses. Here's a pink one. Has the back metal zip on it cute little scalloped edges along the neckline and on the um, sleeves. So cute, cute, easy cotton dress. Now this one is a brushed flannel cotton. And I'm assuming this was probably meant to be worn as like a house coat. It's really super soft and it's probably for the winter time and meant to be worn that way. This one has the two large front pockets and it is missing some buttons on it and it does have some condition issues that I'm going to work on. There's still stuff that I'm working on, but you can see one of the condition issues is just from normal wear. You can see that there's some sewing that took place. She ripped something in it and she sewed it back up. And this is just normal. I mean, for somebody who hoarded things and kept things, why throw that out just because you have a hole you ripped in it you just sew it back up this is a cute set this is a skirt and a top and it has an applique of a rose there on it and also matching applique on the skirt it's got a button back top and a metal side zip on the skirt cute set found that in the attic crumpled up in a box this is actually a, um, if you are a novelty print person and you um, follow novelty, novelty prints and collect them, you will know that this is kind of a rare dress here. And this is marked by the maker. I did take the hem out of this because I just assumed that it was, hopefully the mark was still on this. And this is Gone Swimming and it is by the Millworth um, Cork. So this is actually one that people do seek out. Let's see if I can show you the mark on the bottom. I don't know if that's coming in or not, but the mark is there on the bottom. 
of the dress. A lot of your novelty print dresses, there's a high demand for them for certain prints. Some are more rare than others. So this print is actually one that's kind of rare and people do seek out. And I love the fact that it's in a complete dress. Now there was one button that was missing that I had to replace and there are some teeny tiny little pinholes in the dress that I still have to work on. And this one also has one of those very interesting middle of the back zippers. But a very, very cute print. This was found in the attic, crumpled up in the box. So it was happy to find that. That's adorable. Here is a cotton corduroy just winter jumper that I adore too. And I love the pockets on the front of it. It's got that middle of the back metal zipper that I hate, but still a really great piece for winter time. Another winter piece here, just a little wool jumper with buttons down the front and a back a zipper. Basic little cotton day dress. And I'm probably guessing this might actually be late 50s, perhaps 60s on this. Little sundress, little 1950s sundress, lovely design on it. I have to go in and fix the buttons. Um, the rhinestones fell out of the buttons. And that just happens because it's older and you know, the glue doesn't hold up as well over time. The last bunch of dresses I want to show you and share with you are from Catherine's mother's house and Catherine's mother and father in the 1970s bought a house across the street from Catherine. They passed away, I'm going to say over 30 years ago. The house has remained in Catherine's family. They never sold anything out of the estate. So after I took my last buy out of um, Catherine's house and it's empty now, I walked across the street with um, her son and he said, let's go over to my grandmother's house and I want you to go through some closets over there and take the clothing out of the closets um, that I want space for. So I walked across the street to the grandmother's house and was really happy to get the opportunity to go in and to buy the grandmother's clothing. So these are all so from the 1950s. Here is a cute little day dress, house dress. It's got the front zip on it. So this was a dress that would have been worn to do housework around the house. It's adorable because it's got two front pockets and then it's got this cute little dog print going on. Half of the dog is on this side and the other half of the wiener dog is on that side. So it's adorable. And she was a plus size gal in the 1950s and 60s. So I was able to acquire a nice little selection of some plus size dresses from grandmother's house. Here is a cotton day dress. This came out of his grandmother's house. Another little cotton house dress, day dress, front pockets and front zip on that. Very nice condition. A little summer dress from grandma, button front, lovely little lightweight dress there. I like, I like this one a lot too because of the Western vibe that this little pink gingham dress is giving off. Cotton lightweight, perfect for summertime. Another favorite. I have so many favorites, but I love the print on this cotton day dress and the pockets on it. This is adorable. And I love the bright yellow color. Very cute. I think I got two here. A little day dress. I, this is like an eyelet dress. You will see that it is kind of one where you're going to have to wear a slip underneath of it. It's button front, short sleeve, Floral print, this one's adorable too. A little polka dot day dress, house dress, got a zipper on it and front pockets. This is not cotton, but this came out of his grandmother's house and I believe this is probably
probably going to be an early 60s dress but it's in really great condition and it's you know a lightweight one and perfect for spring and summer and also in a plus size another little cotton plus size dress polka dots And the last dress I'm going to show you is going to be another little house dress, cotton day dress in a plus size. Little checks on that one. And I like it's almost like a double breasted design. So those are Catherine's mother's dresses, the last ones. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching um, me go through some of Catherine's and her mother's dresses from the 1950s a lot of fun to show you and I'm having a lot of fun putting them all back together and getting them ready for listings. So I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.